Ever wondered how your pet cat differs from its wild ancestors? Well, to answer that, we need to take a step back in time. Cats, as we know them today, have a rich history that traces back to their wild ancestors. Their closest relative, the African wild cat, Felis libica. In the wild, these felines were solitary creatures, each one a master of survival. They honed their hunting skills, becoming adept at stalking and capturing prey. Their sharp claws and keen eyesight were tools of the trade, helping them navigate the harsh realities of life in the wilderness. Cats also marked their territory, using scent as a way to communicate and establish boundaries. This was crucial in a world where territory meant survival, and survival was everything. As for social behavior, contrary to the pack mentality of dogs, these wildcats were lone rangers preferring to live and hunt alone. So how did these solitary wild creatures become the friendly, cuddly pets we know today? The journey from wild to domestic is a fascinating tale of adaptation and cohabitation. Picture this. Thousands of years ago, wildcats began to frequent human settlements. But why? The answer is simple. Rodents. These settlements were a veritable buffet for these feline creatures. They were attracted by the abundance of rodents found in areas where humans stored their grain and food supplies. Humans, on the other hand, found the wildcats' rodent hunting skills quite useful. This was the beginning of a relationship based on mutual benefits, a harmonious cohabitation where both parties had something to gain. Wildcats got easy access to food, while humans received a free pest control service. Over time, this relationship grew stronger. Wildcats that were more tolerant of humans had a better chance of survival and reproduction. This led to a gradual change in their behavior and physical characteristics. Humans began selectively breeding these animals, favoring traits that were beneficial or desirable. From this process of selective breeding, the diversity of domestic cat breeds we see today began to emerge. From the sleek Siamese to the fluffy Persian, each breed has its unique traits and characteristics, all thanks to thousands of years of evolution and human intervention. Through this process, wildcats and humans built a relationship that has stood the test of time. While pet cats share a lot of similarities with their wild ancestors, several key differences set them apart. Perhaps the most noticeable difference lies in their size. Domestic cats are generally smaller than their wild counterparts, a trait that likely made them more appealing to our ancestors. Behaviorally, pet cats have grown to be more sociable and tolerant of human presence. They've developed a unique communication system using a variety of vocalizations and body language to express their needs and emotions. Wildcats, on the other hand, lead solitary lives and are less likely to engage in social behavior. When it comes to lifespan, domestication has also made a significant impact. With access to regular meals, veterinary care, and shelter from predators, pet cats often live significantly longer than wildcats. Dependency on humans is another key difference. While wildcats are self-sufficient hunters, pet cats rely on their human companions for food, shelter, and care. Yet this doesn't mean they've lost all their hunting instincts. Many pet cats still enjoy stalking and pouncing, echoing the behaviors of their wild ancestors. Despite their domestication, our pet cats still carry a piece of the wild within them, reminding us of their fascinating journey from wild to domestic. So the next time your feline friend curls up on your lap, remember, you're not just petting a house cat but an animal with a wild past.